So in this example, we're going to look at a DC circuit, specifically the concept of impedance matching. So I give you a circuit as you see in this diagram. It consists of a battery with a voltage V and an internal resistance little r, and it's hooked up to a load capital R. Capital R is just the resistance of the load. My question is, what load R should I hook up to the battery in order to maximize the power dissi dissipated across capital R? So we can analyze this circuit by finding an equivalent resistance and solving for the power dissipated in capital R. So I know that the total V is equal to the total I times the total R. That's just Ohm's law. Well, the total voltage is just V, the voltage across the battery. Uh, I is the current, which I need to solve for. And the total resistance is just little r plus big R, the load resistance plus the internal resistance. And I can just rearrange and I get I is equal to V divided by R plus R. And in order to find the power, I know the power across the resistor capital R is equal to I squared R, where I is the current across the resistor capital R. And just plugging stuff in, I get V squared R divided by little r plus big R quantity squared. So I plotted what that looks like, and you'll notice that there's a peak. Uh, in this case, I just assumed that capital V and little r were equal to 1, just to get a sense of the shape of the graph. Our job here is to find this maximum. So first, I'll take the derivative of the power with respect to the load resistance. So all I did here was I used the quotient rule from calculus, and I get v squared times r plus r quantity squared. That's the derivative of the top times the bottom, minus v squared r times uh, 2 times r plus r times 1. That's the top times the derivative of the bottom, divided by the bottom squared. And now let's just do some simplification. So I expand out all of the terms in parentheses. I notice that a couple of these terms cancel. So I get the derivative equal to v squared little r squared minus v squared big r squared divided by quantity r plus r to the fourth. And I can simplify a little bit more. I get v squared times r squared minus big r squared divided by little r plus big r to the fourth. I can expand uh, the little r squared minus big r squared. And I can cancel out a term in the bottom and the top and I get v squared times little r minus big R divided by little r plus big R quantity cubed is the derivative. Now remember, if we want to find a maximum or minimum, we set the derivative equal to zero. So I set that equal to zero. v squared is just a constant, so I can divide by v squared. And little r plus big R in the denominator uh, is always going to be some positive number. But little r minus big R in the numerator might be something different. So. 0 is equal to little r minus big R. And so we get little r is equal to big R. That means that whenever you have the load resistance equal to the internal resistance, you get maximum power dissipated across the load. So a few final thoughts. When the resistance of the load is equal to the internal resistance of the battery, the battery will deliver maximum power to the load. Electrical engineers call this concept impedance matching. So generally, in introductory physics, batteries will not have any internal resistance unless we specifically specify that they do. Um, and one final thought for you to think about, why do you think this is called impedance matching and not resistance matching? Um, I'll give you a hint. Depending on when you watch this video in the course, you may or may not be able to guess this answer. I would think about AC circuits. You may have to wait a couple of weeks until we get to those concepts.